Hey everyone, I'm going to um, attempt to turn this. I think I might be a little bit early doing this. It's uh, only been out of the pot for a day and I do find that this Opticast needs a few days to cure really hard. So anyway, I'm going to have a little go at it. I'll see what it's like. But I've got a feeling it might be um, just a little bit soft still. But let's have a go. Interesting. Okay, everybody. Um, let me have a little look. See here. So I've been working on this for a little bit, and you think, um, oh, it's not too bad. It's quite interesting, actually. But what I'm getting a lot of is this. See this bit here? It's almost like, let me get the old tool on there. It's almost like that hasn't actually got any resin in it at that point. Now, whether it's because the resin's still a bit soft in there, I don't know. Um, see, what I wanted to do was just turn this to round put a bit of sanding on it and see what it looked like but it all cuts nice cuts nice and then every now and again you get a kind of it's not a catch but it, it feels like we're well, just like that it feels like you hit a, a lump of dry stuff and it just rips out so I'm wondering whether there was just so much of the the tinsel in there um, it's almost like there was dry pockets in there. I think that's how I'd like to explain that, yeah. I reckon that if I put less tinsel, because I must admit, it was pretty well packed in there, but I thought with the pressure, with the pressure pot, it would all, oh, I don't know. But it just kind of gives you the feeling that there's dry areas where the resin didn't quite get into, because it's so compact. See that big lump come out? Mm. Yeah, it's a shame about this, it's just getting it's like a vein of dry dry down this edge. Hi everyone, right, so this has become a sacrificial piece, it's finished, it's not going to turn into anything, but I, I carried on and tried to do a nice cut, it was quite impossible, but I, instead of just throwing it in the bin, I decided to go through the grits up to 400, and then I finished with a little bit of wet and dry, and I think this stuff has got definitely got potential. Try and get a bit of light yeah it's definitely got potential that's for sure look at the way that's glinting out of there it's beautiful and uh, let's put a bit more water on there I mean it's, it's beautiful and smooth it's just unfortunate that I've got these air oh actually I can't feel it now but you see it earlier in the video there was these dry areas these dry patches now the thing is, you might go past that and then you'll get into your area of finishing and all of a sudden you might get another one of those and that would be a disastrous, you know. So, I love this. It's quite a tight pattern there and then it goes into kind of more of an open. I just think what I've done, and I don't know, I'm only this is the first time I've done this, I think I may have packed it too tightly with the tinsel. And it's just created a few pockets of, um, you know, 
air or whatever I thought the pressure pot would take care of that but or maybe you just can't cut this stuff I don't know but f for sure this to the touch and I've only really quickly gone through the grits it is beautiful and smooth it's just unfortunate with that area earlier that I was getting this breakout I'm gonna leave the other blank I had done at the same time I'm gonna leave that a few more days maybe that was what it needed maybe it needs a cure a little bit longer I'm also going to make a couple more where I use a third less tinsel because honestly I really did pack it I didn't get it on video and I wish I'd had now but I really did have too much in there I think anyway it's um, not a bad uh, test and I will do more cheers everyone bye bye